hi friends welcome to my channel and this is windows server 2019 training tutorial and this is number 17 video in this series and in this video i'm going to show you how to deploy network printers by using grub policy so in last video we have installed uh, our network printer and we have installed for you on uh, we have created few demo printers on our print server and now in this video i'm going to deploy uh, in last video we have uh, de uh, uh, installed those printer on client machine by manual method and now in this video i'm going to show you how you, how we can automate this uh, a deployment for printers to the our customers or our end users devices or desktop or laptop by using the group policy so let's get in so this is our demo environment which we are going to use the demo environment is going to be a same which we have used in last video so now just the only thing is uh, our print server is already configured and we are good to go and use this print uh, print server so the first machine is our active directory domain controller which is win2k19 dc01 so here you can see active directory and dns role is running on this machine and this machine is win2k19 dc01 victor info soul dot local and the ip address of this machine is 192.168.0.201 so this is my active directory server and the second server which we have is win2k19 PNR which is our uh, print server and the IP address of this machine is 192.168.0.202 and this is joined in my domain so here you can see the PNR and this is a print server you can see Win2K19 PNR join in my domain so this is a print server so I'm going to open a tools and you can see here print management the print server is same which we have installed in uh, our last video which you can see here we have two printers canon main and hp main and the next two we have a uh, two client machines which is a uh, win10 cl01 and win10 uh, cl02 both are windows 10 client machines so in our domain so if i go here you can see i have logged in uh, by user 01 and this is my win10 cl01 and currently if i go and open um, device uh, open uh, uh, this uh, devices and printers you will see we don't have any printer deployed yet on this machine and this is windows 10 cl02 you can see cl02 and if i open devices and printers there was nothing no printer installed yet so i'm going to deploy these two printers by using the um, group policy so you can see currently under the deployment uh, deployed printers we don't have any printers deployed yet so this is what we have and now I'm going to deploy these two printers the first printer you can see uh, see the comment this is for HR Canon one is for HR and this is for IT so I'm going to deploy these uh, uh, two printers based on uh, organization unit in AD so if I go here, I have created a workstation under the Active Directory user sign computers. You can see I have created two uh, OUs here, one for HR and one for IT. So you can see uh, the IT machine is going to be uh, Win10 CL01, which is going to be this machine, and this is going to be a second machine which is win cl02 is going to be our hr machine so we have to deploy hr machine hr printer to this folder and it printers to this it ou so uh, to do this i'm going to create two gpus so i'm going on my active directory server i'm going to click on tools and active uh, group policy management and from group policy management i'm going to expand this and from group policy object i'm going to create to blank GPU here and call it like HR printers and the second I'm going to uh, create uh, IT printers so I have created two um, blank GPUs if I go to settings you can see no printer no settings has been defined for HR or at 
IT printer. So now it's time to map these uh, uh, blank GPUs to the correct OU. So uh, the for uh, the computers which is inside the uh, this group policy is uh, OU. They are going to get this group policy. So uh, for HR, I'm going to link the existing GPU, HR printers. You can see HR printer is mapped here. And now for IT, I'm going to map link existing GPU. IT printers so both OUs now having mm, group policy up uh, uh, settings apply uh, group policy attached but uh, they have uh, not configured yet so they have uh, no settings for the group policy so now we are going to deploy these printers so I'm going to click go to my print server and currently if I go here you can see deployed printers we don't have any deployed printers so I'm going to deploy now so on the printers a Canon printer is going to be for HR so I'm going to deploy this printer for HR so you can rename these printers also if if you wish so I'm going to call it like HR to identify easily and to change the CR name also so now this printer is going to be uh, Canon main HR and share name is also going to be changed and same I'm going to do for this so I'm going to call it IT and I'm going to click OK and then once again I'm going to change the serial name also for this machine so now I have uh, marked the name with the printer so we can easily identify which printers uh, belongs to which department so now I'm going to deploy with the uh, for HR so I'm going to click on deploy with group policy so when I click on browse uh, it's going to pop up the browser group policy object now when I click here all uh, all group policy it's going to show you all group policy which is coming in our domain which is vector dot local so I'm going to click on HR because this printers uh, Canon printers belong to HR so I'm going to deploy for HR uh, oh, group policy attach it to group policy and then uh, we can deploy on user based or we can deploy on a machine based so th the policy which we have defined here is going to be based on computer so we have uh, applied for the computer so I'm going to uh, attach here the computers that uh, this GPU applied as per machine so now I'm going to click on add and you can see this uh, this printer is added with the GPU this and connection type is uh, per machine so this is good and now click on apply and printer deployment or removal operation succeeded so click OK and same way we need to define deploy this HR IT printer so deploy with group policy browse and I'm going here on all so my this uh, we have deleted this that's why it's not coming this uh, noida.ou so so we got IT printers which is GPU here so I'm going to add this for IT printers and I'm going to apply for as per machines and click add and now I got this uh, printer here for GPU IT printers and per machines so apply here and now this is both the printers has been deployed with the group policy so if I go here and see the deployed printer you will see both the printer has been deployed and in front of this you can get the server name and the policies uh, as per uh, per machine GPU and this is the G uh, group policy name which we have uh, deployed for and now if I go on Active Directory server and if I refresh this uh, group policy you will see the printers is going to be mapped with uh, uh, the GPU setting so this is good and now I can see for IT printers also it's going to be mapped so this is good news and to for now you you will not be able to see the group policy uh, printer is deployed here so for this we I'm going to reboot both the machine and then going to verify if we got the printers uh, automatically installed and mapped to the deployed to these uh, both client machines or not so I, I'm just going to reboot both the client machines and then I'm going to log in back and see so you can also uh, 
do the like a, a GP update and then log off login you will get the printers there uh, it's going to take some time so I just rebooted to make sure it's going to take the effect for the new group policy which we have just uh, deployed so now if I go to control panel and devices and printers it will take some time to get the printers come up here so now you can see the printer is coming here so it's going to be HP main IT because this uh, CL01 belongs to IT department you can see here so we got the printer let's verify for 02 as well so open device and uh, devices and printers and it's going to take some time a few seconds So just wait for a few more seconds it's going to come up now you can see Canon main HR on this so it's got mapped so this is good you can see the, all the details here so we got the printer deployed from the group policy to the both machine HR uh, for HR uh, CL02 for IT CL01 so this is all how you can deploy network printers by using the group policy and Windows Server 2019. So thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos. And if you have any query, any question related to this video, you can always post me on my given mail address. Thank you once again. Bye bye.